I got into athletics at, at school. Um, I started with the seat of discus. It was the only sport that my mainstream school could kind of uh, integrate me with. Um, and then from discus, I got invited to the uh, school games. I won a silver medal and off the back of that got invited to a British Have Lakes Talent ID Day. I um, got my first go in a racing wheelchair and the rest is history as they say. I think my highlight of Rio was my 800 metres. So it was my last race um, and going into the final 200 metres the crowd started chanting my name and it was a moment where Half of me wanted to sit up and look around and start waving and half of me was like, yeah, right, motivated now, let's go. And I've never had my name chanted, not around Britain, not in domestic competitions, not in London. So Rio was the last place I imagined it would happen and it was just the most incredible moment. I think the whole four years were geared towards Rio. Rio was always going to be a big challenge, um, taking on the 400 and the 800 metres as two new events. Um, it just took a lot of training and a lot of hard work, so I think Rio was my biggest achievement just because it was, it was a target. It, all the way through since London, it was what I wanted and, and what I was aiming for. I think my highlight, uh, aside from myself in Rio, was Holly Arnold's gold. Um, Holly's been my best friend since my first day on the team. She took me under her wing and, and showed me how things went. So to see her dreams come true and all her hard work pay off, I was just, I mean, I didn't cry when I won gold, but when she won gold, I was streaming. <laughs> Moving into 2017, um, there is only really one goal. We've got the World Championships um, coming back to London in July. Um, so to go out there in front of a home crowd once again and back in the, the London Stadium um, and, and retain my World Championship title. So whatever I need to do to do that, um, that's what I'm going to do. There is nothing better than a British crowd. Um, the British are so passionate about Paralympic sport, they are so supportive, they know their athletes and it's just always a privilege and a pleasure to compete in front of them. They give you so much support um, and so every year that is, I think, the one thing that all British athletes look forward to is getting back out in front of their home crowd. I think my motivation comes from the fact that I love winning. I love the feeling of being on top of the podium. So um, my motivation is just to stay there. You know, I've, I've, I've got what it is you win when you get to the top. And I'm only 24, so I feel I can get a few more. And the competition is growing year upon year in Paralympic sport, especially in my classification. It's getting tougher. There's more girls coming through all the time. Um, and that's the motivation. I want to stay on top and I want to prove that I am the best in the world. My support network have been invaluable. Um, obviously got British Have Legs, all the staff and coaches there. My coach um, is employed by British Have Legs, Jenny Banks. Uh, who's made me the athlete I am today. But even coming back home, I've got such a strong family base, so many incredible friends, and you know we're here at Leeds City Athletics Club, who've been my club for the last nine years, since the beginning, really. So um, it's just amazing, you know, if you have one bad day, they're the people that come and pick you up and remind you what it's all about. And you see one individual out racing on that track, but really it's a team effort. You know, there are a lot of people that go behind each medal.